Hello everybody, I'm Andmore Central and welcome to the Greggs, as you can hear with all the reversing sounds of the buses, is inside Bolton Bus Station, right in the centre of Bolton Bus Station. Now, um, I haven't really got the exact um, title yet, um, you'll have seen it hopefully at the beginning bit and you'll see it in the title, um, but I, I kind of know what I want the um, video title to be, I just haven't um, specifically allocated it myself yet. Um, and the idea behind this video is to predominantly sample the buses that we're going on later on in Bury, um, between Bury and Manchester, but is to really look at what is happening um, with Go North West as they prepare to take over um, Bolton um, and Wigan in the first stage of bus franchising in Greater Manchester. As you will all know, um, in autumn 2023, that's later this year, um, Go North West are going to be taking over um, Bolton and Wigan in the first bus franchising allocation. That means they'll run all of the services here, um, they'll sort of have specific quotes of the types of vehicles they use, the frequencies they've got to offer, the fares they've got to offer, and so forth. Um, and it's quite an exciting and turbulent time. And in preparation for this, Diamond Bus who currently run um, around Bolton have given them um, the majority of workings on certain services in Bolton and the 163 between Bury and Manchester. Although Diamond still operates some workings on these, sort of um, on a Saturday, on, sort of on a weekend and on an evening during the weekdays, um, it's predominantly gone off west at run these and they haven't been operating in, um, especially in Bolton beforehand. So what we're going to do in this video is we'll start off here in Bolton, we'll hopefully do a trip out and a trip in on a couple of the buses that have recently arrived at Go North West um, to sort of um, help um, like for the vehicles um, that they need, the increased PVR for these services. And then we're going to whiz over to Bury and try and sample some of these slightly older and more exciting um, vehicles that they've got um, on loan for the 163 service. So what I'll do now is I will finish my coffee and then we will head over to the bus stands and see what's parked up and see what we can jump on as our first bus of the day. This bus is, I believe, X Blue Star. I don't know if you can tell by the seats, um, but I've been on um, X Blue Star vehicles before and the seats are identical, so I believe it is X Blue Star. These are also HJ registered, so that would also make sense if they had come from Blue Star and definitely um, go south coast in some shape or form. So these vehicles, there's two of these um, that go north west have. They've sort of basically siphoned off buses and small batches and things of different parts of the go-ahead group wherever they've got spare vehicles and they had two of these did the south coast that they've given um, to go north west they're both painted up in the go north west livery neither of these entered service in the previous livery both of them got repainted prior to use unlike some of the other vehicles that we'll hope to see later on and what's interesting about these is these have an off-site destination display so they have your destination display by your door as usual and then they have one behind the driver on the driver's side that I do think is particularly cool um, so yeah that's why I thought I'd want to go on one of these have a little ride on one because there is only two of them I and mean, it does make sense so this is on the 562 as part of the Wyvern Circular, there's 561, 562 and um, two of the routes that go north west run in Bolton, they run these, the 520s and the 575. Um, they run most of the services on all of these routes, although Diamond do still run the occasional journeys on them, especially around the evenings and weekends periods. Um, but with this what we're going to try and do, if you can 
sort of seamer, there we go. And what we're going to try and do is we'll have a little more of a ride round on this. It is slightly late and then we're hopefully going to cross over the road and get one back that I'm crossing my fingers um, is a Sitaro. It was booked to be a Sitaro so pending the don't swap it, hopefully we'll get one back on the 561 that is a Sitaro. So we'll get a nice mix of two of the different vehicle types that go North West are using here. Thank you. So there we go, so that was 6165. So what we're going to do, because the other one is getting quite close, is we'll cross over. I've wanted to get a little bit further than this, but because it's nine minutes late, not going to happen. So we'll cross over and we will get um, the other one, the 561 in the other direction that I've already seen it. So I know it's the bus that it says it is on the tracker that is a Sitaro, but quite a special one. So for those of you from the northeast, you may kind of like the look of the next bus. So there we go. Those of you watching from the northeast, you probably guessed it, um, but maybe didn't. Yes, this is one of the XGO North East Sitaros, one of the old X-Line ones, I believe, that were used on the X-20 back in the day, and that went from Durham, um, I believe, all the way up to Sunderland. Um, so this one is 6229VJ10VUT. Looking very nice in the sunlight, must be said. Thank you. So there we go, so that was 6229. So what I will do now is I will pass, um, sort of pass you over to me in Bury. So I'll probably show a little bit of a clip of me jumping on the bus to Bury, and then I'll see you all when we get there. So now in Bury, and to get our first of the special buses on the 163, we're going to do this. It's quite unusual. It's our old B5LH, one of the ones new to first Greater Manchester, 3005. On the 163, we'll do this just before Middleton.
Thank you. So there we go, so that was 3005. There's a little bit of retro GMPT on this stop. A um, little bit of retro, but we're just outside of Middleton, I believe it's about two bus stops from the bus station. Um, but because of where the 163 that I'm getting on and um, that I got off, that turns right here, and the one that I'm getting on comes back up. I didn't want to risk missing it, so I've jumped off here. So hopefully, um, the B7 won't be much longer. It's running a couple of minutes late. It seems that all the 163s are late in some shape or form um, today, apart from the one I was on. Um, so hopefully. Um, it shows up very, very shortly, and when I've just had a look on the tracker, it was at the bus station, so hopefully it won't be much longer till it arrives, and we'll take it up to at least Haywood, potentially up to Bury, as there is one 15 minutes behind this. So here we go, so 3358. So coming in about 15 minutes late, that was 3358. So we'll head over to get a quick photo before it leaves, about 20 odd minutes late, back to Manchester. So 15 minutes after we were due to leave, um, the driver's shown back up out of the blue and we're finally loading up. Doesn't really look good when the 163 used to be a lot more frequent than this, used to be just over every 10, um, 10 minutes, now over 15. Very, very busy route for that and the impossible timings um, really, really do not help. Um, it's a shame the route's got like this, um, it used to be um, quite good back in um, the days of first. Um, but hopefully once franchising comes in a little bit more regulation um, and timetable work and they start to improve things but only time will tell on that one. So there we go, so that was an incredibly chaotic 3354. 
running 20 minutes late. It'd have only been about 5 minutes late if it didn't wander off for about 10 minutes. But as a result, he ended up very, very busy. I am uncovering two other vehicles behind, one of which is running quite late. So we're going to wait here for, I'll just jump off somewhere around them, um, and we'll wait here for hopefully um, the B7 to rock up. Um, there is two buses behind that, but both buses are slightly together. So hopefully when the B7 shows up, it'll be nice and quiet. So here we go, 33.55, only running about five minutes late. So luckily because we've got um, A163 um, just a couple of stops in front, we've actually done quite well for time. As you can see it's also quite nice and quiet as well. So we're just approaching Middleton, this is where I jumped off earlier. Um, and hopefully when we get into Middleton by the looks of it, there's not just one, not just two, but four 17s running together up to Rochdale. So I'm hoping to get on at least one of the four buses to make my way over to Rochdale where I'll finish this video. So it's not, I don't know what it is with going off west today, they just don't seem to be doing well on this side of the network, although as I say I think some incredibly optimistic, lovely, some incredibly optimistic timetabling um, on this bus service has really really not helped. So quite happily, um, the B9 on the 17 is the um, final bus in the group of four. Um, so it was worth waiting for, because the one in front, directly in front, is a stop ahead. Um, and then there are two others, a couple of minutes in front of that as well. So that I imagine are quite busy buses. So it's quite nice to be on a lovely motor like a B9, and it's quite nice for it to be quiet and to say it's three o'clock and it's school kick out time and how many schools and colleges the 17 goes past um, it was very very much worth waiting um, for this bus up the back especially with it being a nice B9 and um, that although travelling on the 163s have been an incredibly stressful um, and rather annoying experience you know, it's quite nice to end on a little bit of a high with a quiet bus yes obviously the punctuality is still not good if there's four of these together um, but it's still nice to have ended up on the quiet one um, it just means that if you do travel to manchester you go on some of these going off west buses you just need to plan it a little bit and probably not hold all of your hopes on the actual timetables that are provided so just bear in mind um, that although it may say it takes x amount of time on the timetable it doesn't necessarily mean that that's actually possible so just bear that in mind um, when you travel over here. For now though, what I'm going to do is I will show you a few more clips um, as we make our way up to Rochdale. Hopefully we'll stay as quiet as this um, and it will be quite a... We're going to end it on a bit of a positive note. It's been a roller coaster of an afternoon. Um, I mean, we got the B7s in, it was quite hard work. We got the B7s in um, and it's just nice to end, end on this, this nice and quiet B9 um, as we make our way progressively to Rochdale. So to conclude this video, 
And yes, there is a lot of exciting changes coming to Manchester. This hopefully gives you a little bit of a snippet um, as to what to expect um, with some of the upcoming changes to the network, what going off, it, going off West are going to be bringing to the operation um, that they've just taken over in Bolton and Wigan. And there's a lot more to come as well. I mean, they've got buses all around the country, some of which are going to be featuring in a future video where I was lucky enough to look around the depot at Queen's Road. So we've got that video coming up. And then we've also, hopefully, at the time that this video is released, I will have also been down south to have a look at another location where buses for the brand new Manchester B network have been pressed into service following a vehicle shortage. There'll be a few of you that have heard that and go, I'm more central on exactly where you mean. And um, yes, you will have to hang on and wait and see for that video. So overall, it was um, good. It's obviously nice to see Go North West growing and sort of starting to take over things. I think the 163 timetable really needs tweaking. Um, it was impossible. Um, no matter how much the bus drivers tried, some of them absolutely floor in the buses, it was abs it was an impossible timetable to achieve. Um, I understand that it was market day when I went um, through to Bury. That obviously didn't help. But even then, um, the buses were... Um, quite late and I didn't go on any pretty much that were on time and without a driver absolutely flooring it. So possibly a little bit more time here and there and a few more buses added in between to obviously reduce the pressure on drivers and will make it more attractive um, to sort of go into the 163 route and make it more attractive for customers to travel on the 163 route. But obviously what we've got to remember is that Go North West haven't run the service for that long. Um, at the time you see they're all in these Yorkshire colours um, now they're all um, rebranded up in a different um, promotional branding. Um, overall adverts are all of them that again feature in the depot tour that's coming up very, very soon. Um, so yeah, it, it's, there's a lot to... Um, a lot to look forward to with them, obviously a few little snags here and there, but we'd rather them sort out snags like that um, now rather than obviously when franchising begins. So hopefully if things like that can be slightly changed and slightly edited, um, it will mean that um, Go North West in a good position, at least on services at the 163 for when the takeover takes place. I did enjoy um, travelling around on the network. It's obviously nice to see all the different liveries and things. Um, and it will be very, very strange when we get to September. There are going to be more videos on that. As I say, there was there is a Manchester bus depot tour thing video coming out. Very, very long video as well. So make sure you watch all of it. It's, all of it's very, very good. We, we went to all sorts of different garages. That's coming out very soon. So do stick around for that. And there's also going to be quite a few more bits of franchising in Manchester content coming up in the next few months. As obviously we've had big it is it's got to be something um that i am quite interested in i'm gonna have a nosy around so and um, for now though i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you haven't then do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have and if you haven't already do be sure to subscribe to the and more central youtube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry with more exciting content to come from manchester from a very recent depot tour i did around north manchester that it, it, as i say is worth watching as a video it's very very good day out was that as well as more content that i'm currently planning um, around the bus franchise and takeover as stage one begins very very soon once again though, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.